what up boys welcome back to another video hope you guys are having a great day or a great night today i'm getting into the vanquisher seals now <laughs> we're pulling up as my boy carl we're about to throw these hands best believe uh, i'm gonna start off as a warrior and an aesthetic i'm initially gonna want a lot of uh strength and dexterity so that's exactly why and the aesthetic this time is actually very important because it's part of the uh, strategy to getting the vanquisher seal i'm sure most people know uh the method of farming um roy the explorer if we want to farm him over and over again for the awe stones i'm gonna have to pop an aesthetic at the bonfire and being the covenant of champions definitely want to start off with an aesthetic that's pretty important and then i'm gonna pick up this dagger because i'm gonna need a weapon to stagger him with last time we were yujiro throwing hands this time we're going to be garo the vanquisher seal with the fist is pretty good i mean the only problem is the ring I think it's a little bit less efficient than using the Caestus. However, there's more damage from it by using your bare fist. Since I already did the Caestus in my Yujiro video, I don't want to do that again, you know. Malin, I'm going to kill him because I want to go kill a Dragon Rider to afford the Cat Ring. There's two ways that you can approach this. You can, I'm sure most people know this, but for those who don't know, you can parry someone right here and then like you attack them and then you teleport like down there or some shit. Well, not, well, not teleport. You just follow them as they're falling down, you know, as you're repositing them. And then you land on the platform so you can enter the Grave of Saints. Honestly, I don't want to do all that. It sounds kind of extra. Hell nah, bro. Sit down. Honestly, I was contemplating whether or not I should keep him alive so I can just buy armor and stack poise. But I'm good, bro. That's not how I play. People said they uh, found the uh, the Lightning Engine texture mod refreshing. So uh, I think I'll keep it on. I mean, if you guys seem to like it, I'll definitely keep it on. I definitely seem to like it. You know, it kind of brings that vibrance. It's nice to have a nice change in the environment, in the aesthetic of the game. I'm also going to pick up the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring so I can get more souls while farming uh, Roy the Explorer. And seven steps. There we go. Okay, simple enough. And I'm going to kill Lysia. Literally more souls. Why not? Extra 3k. I can spend that on buying some items from Valencia. Give her a little one, two, one, two, no? Yo fam, all right, we're chilling. And I'm gonna pick up a pine resin over here so I can take out the Royal Rat Vanguard fight. I need to defeat Royal Rat Vanguard so I can pop an aesthetic, otherwise you just can't pop an aesthetic in that area. It's gonna tell you to defeat the boss first, so. Yeah, this setup doesn't take too long. Honestly, it's mostly just farming for the Awe Stones, and that's it. After you get the Vanquisher seal, you're pretty much done. The rest is just preference, like Corinthy ring, Flynn's ring, uh, ring of blades. All right, and I'll head over here to this side, pick up this dark pine resin, yeah? Pick up some iron arrows in case I need it for the DLC. This is going to be fun. It's been five years since I've done this. Uh, Vanquisher seal run. Oh, yeah, I can take him out. Beautiful. All right, yeah, get some Tainite shards. I'll reinforce my uh, weapon that I'll use. To take out uh, Royal Rat Vanguard. Why do I lock on to the guy in the far east end of the spectrum once again? I hate when it does that. All right, I'll get this chest. An extra Tainite shard. All right, there it is. Large Silver Proud Knight. Silver Proud Knight, there it is. Grab the cat ring, and then I'm gonna head towards the Forest of Fallen Giants. Get the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring from Malentia. Now, oh wait, I got some souls to pop. Lonely times, don't worry, Grandma. I got you in a minute, don't worry. So I'll go ahead and buy the key, uh, Bright Bug, uh, two fire bombs, that, the usual. There we go. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, perfect, there it is. Two Tanai shards, and so I'll buy one Tanai shard, that's all I need. And uh, I gotta choose a weapon to use. Yeah, we'll buy the axe. Let's see what that moveset's like, hold on. Yeah, we'll use it, I think it should be fine. So I'll go ahead and reinforce this bad boy, or plus four actually, yeah. I need to level up a little bit so I can survive the fall down to the gutter. Eight, six, nine, I guess, yeah. I'll do nine, ten, and six. Should be uh, should be enough to survive the fall. Here we go. Oh my lord, never mind. <laughs> I got lucky. So I want to drop down right there. There it is, the Pharaoh's Lock Zone. So like I said, you could either start off as the Explorer and get the Pharaoh's Lock Zone uh, to begin with, or you can just, you know, get the Cat Ring, come down here and get one right there on the way down and then we're going to jump down there to enter the grave of saints six nines territory baby let's go where he at i want to pop a pharaoh's dog stone into here the one in the middle where the bridge is and we're going to cheese him to get the stones. it's killing him legitimately 50 times it's kind of hard i mean it's actually pretty good damage especially on covenant of champions he's gonna like two shot you so you want to be very careful it's not bad though First, get rid of the boss fight, and then we're gonna join Covenant of Champions. I wanna buy some learning skulls. I just buy all of them, might as well. Yeah. That's gonna help distract the rats so we can uh, effectively take them out. And they can do damage, honestly. They can do damage. Is he coming? No. There he is. Bro, chase. Alright, there he is. Big boy. 6 9. Oh, baby. Count it up. There we go. Simple enough. Alright. Yeah, run away, pussies. Yes, yes, yes. How many goddamn times? Okay, yeah, there we go. Covenant of Champions. And Roy Mustang, whatever. I mean, Roy the Explorer will still not, uh, he still won't spawn. So I don't think he's going to spawn. Let me just go test it. Basically, the strat is you jump down here and that should trigger his spawn. 
but because we killed him once, he's not going to respawn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I think how it goes is if you pop an ascetic, he respawns 12 more times. And then if you join Covenant of Champions, he respawns uh, all the time. So burn an ascetic at this bonfire. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll just go back to this bonfire. It's easier. Jump down here to trigger his spawn. And then we, yeah, there he goes. And then we just run over here. What I like to do is I like to, I like to hide right here. And then when he's coming, just R2 him. There we go, just like that. And then he falls off, dead. So he gives us like, what, 7,000 souls each time? Plus an awe stone. And because we have the, you know, Tseldora set plus the uh, Silver Serpent Ring plus one, we get a lot more souls. And then you just rest the bonfire, rinse and repeat. And we need 50 of these. Yeah, just jump down again. And then he should respawn. There we go. Yeah, lock on. R2 him, stagger him, falls off, dead. 7,757 souls. <laughs> We're gonna rack up a lot of souls from doing this. Same thing. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, he can, uh, he does damage, so be careful. Time to do this for a little bit. It might take, I don't know. For me, it's a little bit faster since I'm playing on 1.5 speed. All right, boys, it is your boy, Burbaga Aku Aku in this bitch. Why Yaz grinds for the Austones. Stones. I'm gonna be answering a few questions that people had in my previous video in the Majestic Greatsword run. So uh, here we go. All right, first question we got. Can you do a butcher build? Man, I could do it. Anything you want, I promise you. I am down for any build. It's just a matter of time of completing it and getting it done. But in the end, my objective is to do pretty much like as many builds as possible until my time comes or whatever happens. I don't know. And the next question is bow run when? Um, honestly, bow run, great bow runs, all that sort of stuff. Definitely seem like something I want to try. Never really did a run before with the uh, bows only. Yeah, it would be cool to kind of, you know, do one for once. I think uh, it's going to require a lot more time though, since I have like zero experience with like bows and stuff like that. So I'll get it done eventually for sure. How did you get into the Souls series? Why do you like Dark Souls 2 so much? Would you do a challenge runs on other Souls games? So how I got into the series is actually, I think at the time I was watching Berserk. I wanted a game that was kind of like Berserk. And so I kind of searched it up. And then the first thing that came up was Dark Souls. I was like, okay, this kind of sounds cool. I don't know why, but I got Dark Souls 2. I really don't know why. I went throughout the Steam store. I saw Dark Souls 1 and 2. At the time, Dark Souls 3 didn't come out. And so I saw Dark Souls 2 look a little bit cool. I've always been into like challenge games. It kind of piqued my interest. And I got really hooked on, really intrigued uh, by the concept. Pretty sure Dark Souls was inspired by Berserk. So uh, there's a reason why I had that like correlation between Dark Souls and Berserk at the time. So, and I don't know why I like Dark Souls 2 so much. I think it's because it's my first uh, ever Dark Souls. So I'm kind of, I'm a little bit biased. But at the same time, it's like, it's just a lot more fun for me than Dark Souls 1 and then Dark Souls 3. You know, the atmosphere, the gameplay, it's a little bit different. And something about it that I just really like. It's not too complicated. It's not too uh, easy. I've had so many great memories just playing this game back in the day when I was younger. And honestly, that's just, it's kind of like carried throughout the years. Usually when you grow up, the things you like back then kind of change from the things you like right now. For some reason, this is one of those things that hasn't changed. I mean, I still enjoy it the same way I did back then, if not even more. And as for the challenge runs, I mean, I, I like doing challenge runs for DS2, but for other Souls games, it might be a little bit more difficult for me in the sense that I don't have as much experience on the on other games. The only Dark Souls game I can attempt that stuff is Dark Souls 2, so I, I might consider it for the future. You know, I want to switch it up uh, eventually, but for now, I'm really enjoying Dark Souls 2. Next question we got is favorite build you've done so far? It's a tough one, man. I've done a lot of builds, and there, there's a lot of good ones. I mean, the ones on my channel are like the highlights of my favorite builds, honestly, so far. Probably Hexes, uh, the Chaos Blade, or the most common build that I usually use is uh, the, was definitely the Rapier. That was back then when I used to speedrun the, the game. All right, next question we got. Why are you so fun and entertaining? I'm really not, honestly. I found a Hex IRL and I just cast it on my channel so people think I'm entertaining. In reality, I'm, I'm really not that special, so. Can you try a no hit run or a speed run? I can try a speed run for sure. I kind of did one in my Rapier video which I don't know if I'm going to upload before this or after this. Not really that fast of a speed run, but I, for me, it's pretty good. I can do no death or no bonfire, no hit runs. It's going to take a lot more practice, and uh, I could definitely try that out. It sounds like a fun thing to do. Maybe I'll do it on a stream one day. Have you played OG DS2, not Scholar? I have not. I've only ever played Scholar the first and never really purchased uh, the OG version, uh, mainly because I didn't want to spend an extra $40 just to buy the same game for different, you know, little details. What do you use to record? I use GeForce Experience. Comes with the NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, Miyazaki is your uncle. Miyazaki is my father-in-law at birth. 
Can you do a dual cases build? I've actually done this before. It's on my channel. It's the Yujiro build. So it's kind of ironic you're asking this and I'm recording the Vanquisher seal. Uh, can you do a Yorg spear build? Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. All these build suggestions, I appreciate it, boys. Honestly, keep leaving suggestions down in the comments. I really uh, I really like it when you guys suggest stuff. And I'll get around to them eventually, you know? It's just, it takes time for me to, you know, do these videos and, uh, and edit them. But eventually I'll get around to them. I'm still working like full time on my job. If I could do more of this, That'd be cool. I probably have more time to do more builds. Why do you play at two times speed? I don't play at two times speed. I play at 1.5. Two times, that's way too much, honestly. Um, I just play it on 1.5 because the game, the normal speed uh, for Dark Souls 2, just feels a little bit too slow for my liking. You can also do 1.25, which might seem a little bit more comfortable for people who want to speed up the game. It's barely faster, but it's just enough to, you know, get things going. If you like normal speed, go for it. Just do whatever you like, you know? All right, that's all the questions for this uh, video. Feel free to leave some questions down in the comments that you want me to answer, and I'll be more than happy to. And let's get back into the build. This has been Aku Aku, and I'll Burubaga. see you guys later, fam. All right, we just got two more left. One more. We've got so much souls. Here we go. All right, dude, 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 dude. Goodbye, my man. All 50 awe stones, 405,000 souls. Let's get the hell out of here. One by one, so it might take a while. First dragon ring. Oh. Oh shit, that's cool. Come on. Vanquisher seal. There it is. All 50 off stones. The damage on the right, if I put this ring on, it goes from 52 on my fist to 265. Talk to Melentia. I buy the bright bugs. And I also want to buy this because I plan on farming. I plan on farming for a set to kind of go with the uh with the vibe of the build. Can I increase my damage? I'm pretty sure I can. Jeez, I gotta I gotta level up strength and dexterity a lot. For now, I'll keep them both at 40 and 40. We got from 265 damage to 340 damage. And then we'll get adaptability a good amount. Endurance, of course. And vigor, I guess. Yeah. But for now, we'll just stick with this. Level 90, just from farming Roy the Explorer and boots. You don't have to stay in the Covenant to, to use the Vanquisher Seal. Go ahead and leave the Covenant. And as you can see, we still have all our stats. Because I'm Garo and I'm a menace, you're going to be my first victim. Ready? No. <laughs> Bro, I just boxed the shit out of him, bro. And we're only gonna get stronger. Once I get Flynn's ring, ring of blades. Sit your ass down, big boy. Alright. I might farm for this shadow set. I think it would kind of look cool with the outfit. Oh. Shadow dagger. Give me that shit, boy. Oh, is that it? Malformed claws again, bitch. Oh. Leggings. What do you drop? There it is. Thank the lord. Shadow top. All right, let's go back to the bonfire. I see the drip real quick. Uh, I mean, the top looks like Garo, kind of. The black shirt, the black tight shirt he wears. That's the closest I can get. You know, where's Saitama? I, I'm ready to square up, bro. Get a fragment branch of your. Nice. Let me get the coin ring first before I take on Rotten. Fetch. Yo, Bugsy, me and you, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, Bugsy, I'm gonna give you a second shot. Come on. Oh, on an angle this time, huh? A little back and forth. She. <laughs> I'm close the door on you. What you gonna do? Oh, he breaking in, bro. You got a warrant for that, buddy? Hell no. RTSR, there we go. Warrant the ring plus one. All right, let's get out. Oh, and grave gauntlets too. That actually might be sick, right, guys? And it is time for rot, 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 rot. And that's two. Forgotten key. Pick up the dragon town. All right, let me get this RTSR. There we go. Okay. I can deal with that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Garo the Menace. One more combo. Yeah, buddy. I like it. Only problem with this is, like, the range on your fist. You gotta be really up close. Otherwise, you're not gonna really hit them properly. Let's go ahead to the DLC, get that Flynn's Ring. Open this chest. Flynn's Ring. Acquired. So that's an extra 50 more damage. So from 340 to 390. 48 strength, 16 adaptability. I'll do that. So I'll talk to Pate, get his dialogue exhausted. You know, I want to get the Ring of Blades right now. So I'm going to take out Last Giant right now. Okay. Bruh. Oh my lord. <laughs> Damage is real. That's what I'm talking about. I'm about to beat your ass. Okay, never mind. Missed that parry. Not that time. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> Let me do one hand. One hand's actually kind of busted too. Here we go. No, one hand. Look at that. That's so dumb. <laughs> Honestly, the one hand's a little bit stronger, I believe. Both of them seem like they do the same amount of damage, but sometimes the one hand, it feels like it does more. All right, so that ring of blades gives us an extra 20 more damage. She's back in Majula. There we go, bought the bright bugs. I got old damage rings. Head towards uh, the Eastern Peak. 
Covetous Demon. After we kill Covetous Demon, we go see Paid again. And on the way there, we go see Creighton get their quest line going, get the engraved gauntlets. And that pretty much completes the build, honestly. It's a pretty easy setup, pretty fast setup. Talk to him. Skeleton Lords, let's do this. Store these hands with these Skeleton Lords. Oh, baby, two hits, two punches, bro. A nice one, two, one, two. All right, easy. This might be a little bit tricky because I have like really short range on my fist, but I do damage though. Where are the, uh, there they are. Get rid of these guys. L2 attack might be good. If I can just spam it. <laughs> yeah, just spinning attack, bro. Donkey Kong, what's up, homie? <laughs> what's up, homies? See, they know better, bro. This is the introduction to Garo when he called out all the heroes in the room. Beat the living shit out of them. Nobody's safe, bro. Nobody gets off scot-free. Yeah. This is nice, though. I don't gotta worry about no Tainai shards, large Tainai shards, nothing. I can just blitz through the game, bro. My guy about to get melted. Actually, not as much as I thought it would be. That's actually a lot better. I think too any. I think power stands against a lot better. He's just, he's a dumbass, so it doesn't matter what you do. You're gonna kill him regardless. There he is. Talk to him. Back to Shaded Ruins. It's funny. This is like the only game that has this kind of stuff, right? Pretty sure DS3, DS1, or even Elden Ring doesn't have like a fist only kind of thing. But there's a uh, Creighton. Let's talk to him, and we're good to go. What's up? Yeah. What's up? Box your ass. Okay, I can deal with that. Ah, uh, she did a little step back, huh? James Harden over here. My bad. Keep going. Oh, baby. The stagger. Ah, uh, man, you messed up. Yeah, one hand's kind of nice, not gonna lie. What up, boys? Beat the living shit out of these guys. Alright, you all next, bro. This might be a little bit hard to hit these guys on the floor, not gonna lie. Can I hit them? Can't even. Uh, they attack me, I can hit them. How the hell did I kill you? There we go. You all alone. Hell nah. Uppercut, bro. Boom, bro. Straight to the chin. There's a bonfire aesthetic, too. Jump down right here. Surprise, bitches. Come on, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah, du double team. Yeah, this is exactly what Garo would do after helping someone. Nah, you next. You thought you was safe? <laughs> you was not safe. Give somebody hope, then turn on their back right away. The engraved dollars. There we go. So, get some critical hits hopefully I'll get the yeah, I'll get 50 and then like 20 and then like 20 yeah ring of blaze plus one that's on the way to smelter demon yeah sure we can do that first and then we can do Duke's Tear Freya and then uh, lost sinner all right time to conduct evil mytha 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 what up home girl oh let me smack that all on the floor jeez half rate HP what happened hit her like four times see how dumb this shit is <laughs> smelter demon time let's do this this is gonna be fun as hell I'm not gonna lie Right off the bat, bro. Oh, I heard a critical hit. Okay, my guy needs to relax, huh? Bro, even when he's buffing up, I do damage. It's crazy. Come on, do some shit. Oh, not like that. Bro, that's stupid. Even while he's buffing up. Hold on. Oh, my lord. I do it backing up quickly. He knows better. Oh, that last day was a critical, bro. Music to my ears. I rest at the bonfire. Head back down. Pursuer's gonna spawn. Get the bright buck still going. Okay, okay, okay. Let's walk to the side. Can't do shit. Try one hand. Holy fam. R2 attack to finish it off. Watch this, bro. From the top. Boom, bro. Crazy. Some Jack 5 shit from Tekken. 15 more damage, yeah? Dude, that's crazy. Old Iron King of the Iron Fist Tournament. Let's go. What's up, my man? What kind of shit is this? Okay, off the bat. Let's go, my man. Oh, about a 40%. I like that. A little double fist. Let me show you my fist. Up your ass and around the corner, homie. You didn't even blink the entire fight. Easy as hell. That's all I can say. Let me go buy these Sprite Bugs. There we go. We'll do more Endurance. That's it. Let's go. Oh, I forgot how menacing this fight looks like with the mod on. Shout out to the guy who made this engine mod, bro. It's insane. All right, break up time. Here we go. Throw these hands. Bro, critical hit too. I heard that. Oh, shit. What's going on, bro? Oh, every time you knock off her head, she goes crazy. I swear to God. Nah, I ain't giving you a chance. Not a split second. That's so fun. 
Oh, yo, World Cup. Here we go. It's been a while since I did the World Cup. Go crazy, boys. First one to knock it off the ledge wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, boys. Bro. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, almost. <laughs> Cristiano. Oh. Oh. Oh, this guy scored. I saw that shit. All right, I'm going to give you kudos, bro. I'm going to let you live. So buy all three of those. I got no souls to level up, but it's fine. Let's do this shit. Bro. Oh, my lord. Two combinations. Oh, critical hit too, bro. I heard that. Y'all hear that? You, you, yeah, you messed up, bro. You messed up. All right, let me one hand with it for the final one. Uh-uh-uh. R2. Three hits. Jeez Louise, bro. Whose idea was this? It's time for gargoyles. I don't know how this is going to go. It's going to be kind of hard to hit them, but let's see. Oh, we do damage, though. We're chilling. Now nah, we're good. We're chilling. Try one-handing it. Maybe it's better. Two hits? No way. It is two hits. That's so stupid. R2. Roll R1. L2. I can't try to parry him, bro. L2 like this. Yeah, like that. Do the critical too. Man, I'm getting some really good luck lately. I can just grab this bright bug. Oh. Okay. Let's see, damage. Oh, she's gonna move a lot though. Unless I just do so much damage that it doesn't even matter. Bro. What? Somebody wanna explain? R2? Oh, let me break. Bro, what? That was a critical hit. She had like 1% HP left. Didn't even matter. By the bright bugs. They're gonna replenish once again. After we kill uh, Looking Glass Knight, a little bit more, yeah, and that sounds good. Have we killed Orstein yet? I don't think we have. Let's go take on Orstein. Time to tear this guy a new asshole. Come on, my man. Oh, Lord. A little stomp attack, huh? Couldn't leave that in DS1. Jesus, mercy. That is so blessed. A Royal Rat Authority? I'll get that over with you right now. I don't think so. I can. Thank the Lord I went smooth. Let me hit your ass, bro. All right, you ass for it, bro. Yo, stay still, please. Good dog. Yeah, good dog. Okay, never mind. He did some bullshit. No, 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 no. Don't puke. Okay, that was a terrible fight, but we got him. It's going to be kind of hard to, like, take on those bosses that move a lot. Let's go. Okay. 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 Just keep hitting him. I didn't even stop, bro. I didn't even care to heal or nothing, bro. Adaptability. Endurance bigger yeah all right time to go to shrine of winter i'm gonna get dark lurker ready as well could do dark lurker now i think i'm gonna do it now here we go pop this damn bright bug let's see if we can do this shit pretty efficiently okay all right so she's a little she's a little tanky but it's all right a little tanky right how am i supposed to dodge that let's keep attacking her she's transforming already hell no all right this might be a little bit tricky Bro, you can't dodge that, I'm telling you. Hell no. Ta-da, no, no, no. Bitch, let me hit you. Again. Come on. Ultimate strat right here. ultimate strat yo they're both doing it bro y'all bunch of pussies bro i swear to god yeah you dead yeah sit your ass down both of you i knew it was gonna be a little bit weird so that's why i did it right now and then my dude silver fang my sensei let me catch these hands bro yeah homie sit your ass down bro let's go let's go okay okay three hits let me uh, power stance. Damn, bro. What's up, homie? This shit was fast as hell. All right, beautiful. I pray. I pray for the critical hits. Okay. Nice little chunk. Oh, yeah. Is that counter damage? I think it is. I'm not sure, though. One hand blessed, bro. He's dead. Haha, uh -huh, bro. You ain't finishing your attack. I'll pick up these uh, bonfire aesthetics in case I want to farm for some extra souls. I got just enough souls to buy the uh, rest of the bright bucks too. Perfect. Buy all those. Beautiful. I think I'm just going to blitz my way through this. Screw this. I got a lot of adaptability. I should be fine.
Yeah, that's right. Show me something new that the others have not done. Let's go. Come on. Open up. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, go crazy. Oh, I heard a critical hit. Okay, about a quarter, about a, about 50%. Here we go, finish it off, come on. Yeah, nice. Power stance, yeah. Bullshit. Here we go. Okay. Oh, critical hit at the end, nice. All right, here we go, go crazy. No, not yet. Oh, he's buffing up already, damn. He buffs up so damn early, it's crazy. Hell no. All right, good enough. Get the King's Ring, let's get out of here. This might be a little bit tricky. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, so far so good, critical. Oh, keep going. Nah, come on. Stupid, bro, you're actually a dumbass. You deserve death in the worst kind possible. Try to breathe fire, I'm like right behind him. Oh man, I didn't even get a Sacred Oath, I just totally forgot. All right, so I trade Bellstat Soul for it. 25 Faith and I need 22 men. Might have to farm Ron for this one. Actually, we're almost at Giant Lord. So, but I want Sacred Oath now, though. I don't want to get it after Giant Lord. So I'm probably going to farm Ron for it. Ancient Dragon's going to be tanky as hell. So I want to get Sacred Oath before him. Finish it off. Beautiful. All right, we're good. There we go. Round two complete. That's right. And bam. Beautiful. Pop all of his souls. All four of them. I just need 25 and 20. Yeah, that's enough. Thank the Lord. And we'll just get more adaptability. Vigor and endurance. Yep. See how much more damage we can get with that. 50 more damage? Damn. Went from 436 to 486. It's actually huge. Wow. Very much worth it. I got RTSR. Wait a minute. It's actually good. Oh, crazy. Oh, I'm the boss. Oh, right off the bat. Okay. I'll take that. Yo, this is crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is more damage than the rapier. Basically. Good shit. Get this guy a pedicure. You know what I mean? Well, oh, even this is good. Yo, this is a lot more damage than I expected. There we go. Goodness gracious. I'm very satisfied with that. Time for a giant lord. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Zooey mama, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, S-class villain right here, bro. I ain't playing around. My lord. Not you, Giant Lord. We got damage for days, baby. Sacred Oath once again. Oh, he stepped into my Sacred Oath. Don't tell me he got buffed up. Here we go. Okay. What's up, my man? Kendrick Lamar, bro. Be humble. Bro, I can't even hit him. Break his ankles. Get him on his knees, homie. Okay. Oh, that's actually... That's a really good chunk for Vendrick, especially... You guys are pretty tanky boss. And we're doing a decent amount of damage. I should have RTSR'd this. I'm not even getting hit. L2 to finish it off? Not that L2. Why do I always do that? This L2. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, sweet Louisiana mama. I'll get 32 adaptability and 30 endurance. And then just one more in vigor. I'm going to do one hand. I think it should be better. Come on. Let's kill him real quick. So far, so good. Spinning attack. Okay. Finish him off. Nice. All right, you next, ho. Put that shield down. Oh, pussy ass attack. Come on. Ooh, 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 she takes more damage. Yo, who are you stunning on? Are oh, you stupid? That's what you're doing. Look at this bitch try doing a backflip in front of me. Like, you know, we are breezing by these bosses. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, okay, not, not bad. Damn, right bug wore off. It's all good. Get up in her guts and just finish her off. Boom. Nah, get that shit out of here. It's pretty good. I don't mind, bro. Okay, we'll take that. Couple hits. You can kind of see where he's coming from. Okay, okay. Attack him a few times right now. Where are you? All around top of me. I'm good. Bitch ass. Thought you had me. Nah, base game done. All right, now where's Scythe? My, I'm ready. Do I want to do the dual pursuer? boss fight i don't know get a ring of base plus two more damage after that it's dlc time ivory king might be a little bit tough because i gotta get rid of the knights pretty quickly too all right i'll burn an aesthetic right here okay okay that's not bad 
Okay. Nice. Finish him off. Oh, one more hit. Nice, beautiful. Uppercut, beautiful. From 436 to 451, it's actually worth it. 15 more damage, yeah. Yeah, time to go to the DLC now. I'm gonna box a tiger. What up, fam? Let's go. Okay, barely enough stamina to dodge that. Damn. Let's go behind him and hit him in the ass. Well, that actually works. Huh. And it makes me dodge the attack. I might do relax. A little jab, huh? Okay, okay. What's up, homie? I'm a May, dog. Come on, just keep hitting him. No, don't back away. What the hell is going What is going on? Y'all saw that shit? Okay, that spinning attack is uh, kind of doo doo. Not gonna lie. Dopo Orochi. Yeah, buddy, sit down. He was throwing his jabs, I was throwing mine. Obviously, I came out on top. I'm Garo. And I'm gonna be skipping Reindeer Valley simply because I'm short on time. Even with the mod on, I can reduce the fog, but those reindeers are just a pain in the ass regardless. Autobots roll out. We in this bitch. Not bad damage. Yeah, we could probably do this efficiently. Alright, who's low? This guy's low. Nice. Oh, my boys are going in, bro. Hold up. Yo, they are going in. Yeah, look at them, bro. No mercy. Oh, man. We're getting some good critical hits, too. Here we go. We're done. All right, come on, who's coming? Who's coming? Bro, how did that hit me? He went through my teammate. Uh, Pyromancer, the worst. Just kill his ass. There we go, we got his ass. All right, Ivory's next. Nah, bro, you can't stop him. Ooh, we do damage. Ooh, yeah, okay, my hopes are getting up. Dude, he double backstabbed. What the hell was that? that? Guy's going crazy. Oh no, he's gonna kill my dude. Yeah, we do some serious damage though. Come on, get his ass. Oh, he's buffing up. Come on, kill him. Finish him off. Let him. Oh. And my homie survives. Yeah, that's right, bitch. You know, I'm pretty sure my guy had like one HP too. Yeah, we clutched it out though. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That actually went pretty smooth. Ivory King DLC done. On to uh, Sanctum DLC. Let's go. I could take out the Bone Arrow guy. Then I think I'd be chilling. Okay, I do damage. That's one. That's one good thing. The damage is there, but it's okay. Oh, one more hit. Man, this is like that one scene. Garo versus the Hunters versus the A-Class Hunters. Just because it's 3-1 doesn't mean you're going to beat me. Yeah, that's one down. The morale starts to go down as well. Come on. Ah, oh, almost. Boom. Oh, baby, right in the face. Cut that shit out. Yeah, yeah. L2. Boom. Let me clothesline your ass. <laughs> Not bad, actually. Thought it was going to be a lot worse. Alright, let's see if this is better than Casus. Let's see. Oh, not even close. Casus is crazy. This is still pretty good. Nice. Bust down Tatiana. Dude, this is some crazy damage. Alright, that was still pretty fast. Damn. <laughs> Muhammad Ali, bro. Let's go. Let me see the jab. Let me see the jab. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Aw, oh, come on. I'm missing him. Alright, still a good amount of damage. L1, L1, L1. Break the mangles. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, critical. That was nutty. Come on, finish him off. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, there's the jab. Yeah, look at my jab, though. <laughs> I come out on top. Sorry, man. All the bosses in this DLC and the crown of the Sun Ken King. Just got a few night DLC, and that's it. Hope this goes well. Sacred Oath. Do it now. Here we go. Oh my, that is some good damage. Oh, here we go. Bro, what is this damage against Smelter Demon? He's not even buffing up yet. It's crazy. This feels like normal Smelter Demon. What? Oh, no, no, no. Alright, go in. I'm going in. Oh, critical. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Buff up? Is he gonna buff up? He's not even gonna buff up. Did he buff up twice already? No. Alright, whatever. Come on. Oh my lord, what happened? Oh, that was super clutch. I'm pretty sure that was faster than normal Smelter Demon. Now all my worries are gone. If I can do that much damage against Smelter Demon, then I can for sure do enough damage against uh, Fume United Sir alone. I am super confident. Let's do this. Come on, my man. Okay, so far so good. Let's try one-handing it. Yeah, like this is really good damage. I'll take that. 
Uh oh. It's okay. I'll trade that. Spinning attack. It's cold crazy, bro. Here, 80% of his HP gone. It feels good to do damage. Here we go. Boom, bam, pow. That's right. Crown of the old Iron King. Done. Fume Knight. Destroyed. I thought it was gonna be total trash. Like especially with the tracking of the fist and the range. I thought it was gonna be like a whole mess. But surprisingly now, like we're actually pulling it off first try. Yeah, it's perfect. RTSR. Beautiful. RTSR, because you already know. No hit run, sir alone. All damage rings. This is gonna be nice. Right, here we go. Atomic Samurai, what's up, homie? I already killed Sliver Fang, you next. Okay. Good damage. Nice. Good damage. Two hits? Oh, I can't do two hits. Okay. Boom. From the top, huh? What you doing, my boy? Again? This guy is ballsy. Couple more hits, come on. I can never hit him twice. I mean, he's too fast. Come on. One more hit. Jump. Hey, there we go. And there he goes. <laughs> That's it. We got Serlon Seppuku. All the DLC bosses, except for Reindeer Valley. That is it, boys. That is the Vanquisher's Seal. Tremendous damage. We pretty much demonstrated our damage during Blue Smelter Demon and Few Knight and Ivory King. We just demolished them. We did so much damage over time. Overall, pretty good. Pretty fun run. I'm really glad I did this again. It's been a long time. It's been years since I've done it. All right, to wrap it all up, uh, we just had the Corn Demon plus one, Flynn's Ring for more damage, of course, Vanquisher's Seal, the main component, uh, Ring of Blaze plus two. It's kind of cool. I just want to mention, it's kind of cool how... A ring is the main component of this build. It's crazy. Yeah, I know Shadow Top for fashion uh, and Grave Gauntlets for critical hits. Pretty nice. And Cell Door set just for fashion as well. So we just had a Sacred Triumph basic one. Doesn't matter which one you have. We only used it for Sacred Oath to get more damage. And as for our stats, level 191, actually pretty actually pretty low compared to like most of my other builds. I'm usually pushing 200 or above. I could have put more into strength for more damage, but I think it was pretty fine. This is one of those builds where it's nice because you don't have to get any Town Eye Shards, any Chunks, any Pine Resins, nothing. You just need like a good amount invested into dex and strength a good amount of adaptability so you can be very agile endurance so you can attack a lot more very cheap build honestly compared to most others keep leaving some suggestions down in the comments i'll get to them eventually i hope you guys enjoyed the video i appreciate all the support i'll see you guys in the next one eh all right take it easy boys